today's video, I will be going over what to do and also what not to do to achieve that Coke bottle hourglass figure. My figure is, as always, a work in progress, but over the last few years, I have definitely made some improvements and learned a lot along the way. So listen up, you can learn from my mistakes and get to your goals much, much faster. <laughs> To be back home from my Bali trip, even if it's just for a few days, I leave again in a few days to Italy. A lot of different questions I've gotten on Instagram, some topics that have popped up, some DMs that I've gotten with video requests. Speaking of Instagram, make sure you follow me. I've got my fitness Instagram where I post different workout videos similar to the content that's here on this channel. And then I've got my main Instagram, which is more about like my lifestyle, behind the scenes, my travels. I can be pretty entertaining sometimes. I'm a little crazy. But it's all good. If you don't have Instagram making an account, it's super duper easy and quick. You'll have access to more content from me in case YouTube ever goes down or something happens with YouTube. You got me there. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with my videos and other workouts, hit that little bell. It's on this side. Hit that little bell so you get notified of my videos because you won't get notified unless you hit that bell even though you're subscribed. Thanks, YouTube. So let's jump right into this video. Hourglass figure. Let's just start off by saying that so, so much of your figure is determined by genetics. Some people pop out of the womb looking like Kim K with their tiny waist and their huge wide hips, and that is just the luck of the freaking draw. However, you can always do a few things to get yourself closer to the hourglass figure. You can always improve and work with what you've got, and that is what we're gonna be talking about today. I personally have always been pretty skinny. I've always had a relatively small waist, so my hips have always been really, really narrow. On some pictures on Instagram, it looks like I have super wide hips, and then from other angles, you'll see that they are not really that wide at all. A lot of it looking wide as a result from building my muscles and building my shape around my hips. But really quick, real talk, Let's get real for a second. The most important thing here is that you do not let your body define you or completely take over your life. If you are unhappy with yourself, getting a snatched body isn't going to fix everything or be the ultimate key to happiness because you will find something else to be unhappy about. Because I see so many girls saying, oh my god, I wish I had a good body, like, I'll be so happy, it would fix everything. Like, that's just not going to fix all your problems. You should already be happy with yourself, with your life. And of course, you should always be on a constant journey of improvement. We should always be improving ourselves, striving to be happy, striving to be healthy, striving to be the best versions of ourselves. That's why we work out. That's why we get in shape. That's why we try to get smaller waist and bigger booties but you don't expect it to just fix everything and all your problems because it is not do not let your fitness journey consume you we just have one life okay we are here to enjoy it in all of its glory so just keep that in mind going forward into this video so my first tip would probably be something that you don't hear often from other youtubers and it is do not do too many ab workouts do not overwork over whoa do not overwork your abs and your core and do not use weights for your ab workout weights cause your muscles to grow and if you grow your muscles around your abdominals around your waistline it's just gonna make your waistline bigger especially your obliques obviously doing a lot of body weight exercises and core exercises is really good for strengthening your core and helping kind of define it getting those abs popping but we don't want to grow it and make it bigger, if you know what I mean. If you just look at female bodybuilders, you will see that they are far from having the hourglass shape. Not that there is anything wrong with that body type, if that is what you wish to have. However, this video is achieving more of a feminine curve, more of like a curvy waist, smaller waist, a uh, little bit softer and not so muscular. So it's just two different body types that we're talking about here. And vacuums, vacuums play a huge, huge role in getting a small waist and I'm not talking about keeping your floors clean I'm talking about vacuuming like the exercise vacuums which I have talked about numerous times a stomach vacuum is an exercise that has been around forever it works your transverse abdominis which is a muscle that lies underneath your outer abdominal wall and underneath your obliques and this acts as your body's natural corset so not only does it make your waist smaller but it helps with your lower back pain if you have any lower back pain it helps with posture it just helps keep everything in and strong there's just so many benefits i've got a video linked in my description where i show you exactly how to do a stomach vacuum you can either open it in a new tab and save it for later or when this video is done you can go ahead go to the link in my description so you can check it out and learn how to do it and practice it a bit next up fat 
loss is absolutely obviously super duper important if you want to get that hourglass shape now, I'm not saying that you have to get down to like 15% body fat as a matter of fact a lot of the beautiful famous hourglass figures you see are plus size models and curvy girls and Girls that are not necessarily super skinny or super fit, however, this is so largely dependent on where your body naturally stores fat. If your body tends to store fat in the booty and on the hips, oh girl, you won the fat distribution lottery. However, if your body tends to store fat around the abdominal area, in your stomach, or somewhere else, then obviously you gotta lose that fat so that we can see the curve of the waist. Fat loss is achieved by staying in a caloric deficit so that means burning more calories than you consume now i don't want you to go crazy counting calories down to the very decimal however i do think it's important to be aware of what you're putting into your body and kind of the caloric count of that because there are a lot of sneaky sneaky foods out there that don't seem like they're high in calories but they actually are and they don't make you feel full and they're just kind of like a waste of calories you know what i mean so you should have a ballpark figure of how much you should be consuming and how much you are consuming just so that you know that you're kind of on the right track i use my fitness pal sometimes to really calculate how much i'm getting and what i need and also my nutrition guy goes over pretty much everything to kind of create your own meal plan it's not very restrictive like i don't like restricting any kind of food but it's just being smart with the amounts that you eat and how you consume it and all that stuff if you don't want to restrict your diet the easiest thing to do is to just burn it all off it can get stored if it gets burned so incorporating lists hit workouts into your routine I have a bunch of cardio workouts up on my YouTube so there's a lot for you to choose from next up we have got muscle growth so I made a whole video on how to make your hips wider obviously you cannot make your actual hip bones wider because it is like anatomy the video that i'm talking about i will link it up here and in my description basically you can make your hips appear wider and more curvy by building up the muscles around that area so obviously you've got to use weight and resistance to really gain substantial muscle i do think that you can grow your muscles a little bit doing body weight exercises especially exercises like jumping squats really explosive and impact exercises like that however as your body gets stronger you will need more resistance and more weight at it so eventually you're gonna stop seeing progress doing just body weight exercises you will have to start using some kind of weight whether you order ankle weights for home or you get a resistance band all the equipment that i use for home will be linked in the description below i do think that you can achieve a lot of muscle girls just using ankle weights resistance bands and dumbbells like if you order dumbbells for the home also the thing with the jumping exercises and the compound exercises is that they don't target a specific muscle so that's where ankle weights are awesome because they're glute isolation exercises and some exercises target one specific muscle over the other that's why i really really love the ankle weight exercises the glute isolation exercises that we do at home super critical for muscle growth is protein intake well, in general, you need to be in a caloric surplus to gain muscle. So I know this is kind of contradictory because to lose fat, you need a deficit. To gain, you need a surplus. So it's best to kind of tackle these two things at different times. But if we're talking about just muscle growth, uh, you do need a caloric surplus. So you need to burn less than you consume, but it's going to be a very small amount. Like you don't want to overdo it because then whatever... Whatever doesn't get used and whatever doesn't go towards building up your muscles will get stored as fat. So you want to make sure that you are lifting really heavy and exercising intensely with a surplus so that it really goes towards rebuilding your muscles. And getting enough protein is absolutely important because that's what helps you rebuild your muscles, it helps you recover, it just helps with muscle growth. You should aim to get most of your protein from foods, however, that is easier said than done. I eat a lot of meat and I still struggle sometimes with getting enough protein and sometimes I'm just too lazy to really cook myself a decent meal also as much as i would love to have a steak every day we on a budget girl you know the protein bars the protein bars the protein mm. the protein bars from women's best are one of my favorite ways to supplement with protein they are super quick they're convenient it requires no preparation they taste freaking delicious it's 15 grams of protein per bar it tons of fiber so it helps with your digestion as well and it just tastes so good and i love anything that's convenient because i'm always like running around on the go probably just like many of you are so it's just Mm, so good. Also the flavor, raspberry crunch. Don't even get me started. I want one right now. I have tried every single flavor and my top three are raspberry crunch, obviously. Number two is caramel peanut butter crunch, delicious. And the third one is hazelnut chocolate crunch. They are so, so good. 
I do have a link in my description if you would like to support me and shop through that link it would mean the world I don't earn any commission off your sale but tracking the sales helps me continue my partnership with Women's Best and my last tip for this video is to sculpt that back this is so underrated and underestimated it is incredible sculpting your back and getting a little bit of muscle on your back will help accentuate the, v the curve of your waist it will create kind of like a V going down into your waist which adds to the hourglass figure because we're not trying to do a half hourglass like a triangle we're trying to do a full hourglass you know so especially if you don't have a lot of boobage or a lot that you're working with here sculpting your back will help so so much and you don't have to worry about getting too muscular or looking manly like you would really have to be lifting so so heavy to start looking manly so just doing a few exercises to sculpt your back I actually just released a video like a back sculpting workout I will leave it in the description so you can check it out so these are pretty much my top tips on how to get an hourglass shape don't forget that so much of it is determined by your genetics so some people just have that shape and some people have to work really really hard to get there but if you really want to get there there are definitely so many things you can do to accentuate it also the clothes that you wear makes a huge difference in your hourglass shape if you're wearing things that make you look you know just like straight and square is just not gonna help you but I feel like that should be a whole other video for another topic on clothes that help accentuate your figure so we will save that for that time I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know your thoughts in the comments below if there's anything that works for you to help you accentuate your hourglass figure please let me know below because I always love learning new things and incorporating new things into my routine as well and it will help everyone else watching this video if you just leave a little comment with your thoughts and your feedback all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time